All right, we're back. So this part's gonna be interesting to me too, right? Because we made so many characters, we've gotten them all to level 60 smithing at least. We've done them the slow way, we've done them the medium fast way by like uh, basing up items. The slow way would be like making rune arrowheads or just making base items like uh, rune pickaxes or rune hatchets or something. It'd be really good profit. You'd get really good uh, smithing experience along the way. You'd be making money along the way. But what if uh, you just make money doing other things and then you just spend the money on smithing and then just power level smithing and then make money after you have a high level smithing. Just because smithing is so ridiculously slow if you do it the other way. It takes like what so long to do it like eight hours to go from 40 to 60 maybe. So we got a timer here we're gonna see. So adamant play body plus two. This will give like a 1.7k for burying each of them. We bought 30 of them so that cost us maybe like 600k. It's cost you like 600k for 30 adamant play bodies. I think that would be like, I don't know, 1.7 times 30, what would that be? 51,000 experience. So we have 55,000 experience basically. So that would double our smithing experience and it would do it ridiculously quick compared to making all the other methods. In the room play body plus threes, these would give what, 4.8k experience? So we checked to see what the difference would be. It's basically basically the same. If you bought like three uh, three adamant plate body plus twos and then bury those, basically you get 5.1k, so you get like another 3k experience, but you'd be uh, getting it slower because here you get a faster experience. So might as well just go up to room plate bodies as soon as you go to level 50 smithing or once you have smithed all of these. So we got 10 room play body plus threes. Those cost us like 750k. So the 10 play bodies would give the same amount of experience basically as these 30 play bodies. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna try going to the smithing, right? So if we do this times 10, we'd have like a 48k plus 51k plus 51k. If we smith the 30 adamant play bodies plus the 10 play bodies, there's 99,000 experience. So to 150,000 should be pretty good yeah it won't even get us level 60 will it it'll get us uh, a lot of the ways though so if we take these and we home teleport to Valador teleport we're just gonna go to the artisans guild <clears throat> so essentially what 6 1.2 1.35 mil essentially if you have 1.35 mil to burn just do it this way and then skip the smithing and then if you want to make money with smithing, right, you could come back to smithing and then you'd be masters at smithing adamant. So if you're leveling smithing and then you're at the lower levels, then you wouldn't be as good at smithing the atoms. But if you power smith and then you come back, maybe you'll be making money along the way. The experience would be a lot slower though, right? The good way would be to smith uh, ochre and play bodies because those are like 120,000. It's just ridiculous. Essentially, instead of doing it the slow smithing way, we're gonna try doing it the fast smithing way. So we just go run over here to the bank, and then, is this uh, episode getting super, super long? Let's uh, run to the bank, end this uh, clip. See, here's all the things we have. All right, so if we just uh, deposit these here, and then just withdraw like all except for one, because you need one inventory space to make it, and then we just go to the burial place. So do we create a uh, mental full heat? create adamant at full heat our rate heat capacity raised by 50 so essentially we don't have to heat it because we're level 41 we could just go to play body then we go to burial so you can see how much experience it gives like 850 for making the regular one and then 850 for making the plus one 1.7k for making the plus two 1.7k for repairing it although the speed the method is faster right should we be using a smithing potion do we have a smithing potion we should be using a smithing potion. That would uh, speed things up. Let's go get a smithing potion. We'll do that. So you go home teleport to the Grand Exchange. Alright, so it cost us uh, 100,000. That was quite a bit above the market price. But 5% chance of double progress when smithing lasts for one hour. Maybe we'll even uh, be there for less than an hour. Definitely less than two hours gonna go so ridiculously quick and then when we uh, get money from leveling other skills maybe we could just buy another 10 or 20 room play body plus threes to bury them to finish it off or we could do smithing to make money that wouldn't make any sense that wouldn't make any sense 
All right, here. So we kind of uh, split it up into another video. That would make sense. That way we're not uh, rushed or anything. We're not just uh, rushing the smithing at the end. Essentially, if we bury them, they're going to give us crazy experience. And the smithing potion will help us. So let's bury 10 adamant plate bodies, bury 10, bury another 10, then bury 10 rune plate bodies. Or adamant plate bodies. So we'll do that. We'll just do them 10 at a time. Before you start them, activate your perfect mining potion. 5% chance of double progress when smithing. Last for one hour. So now we smith on here. Make the adamant plate body burial. 1.7k experience. So this will be 17k experience. And he's willing to appear to interrupt us. So it gives 27 experience. We believe Runite, the rune plate body, gives a 56 experience. So besides the collecting the huge eggs interrupting us, it should be ridiculously quick. Once we get to 50 smithing, rune plate bodies would be twice as quick. So considering it's about the same price and rune plate bodies give you around like 56, around twice the experience, go to rune plate bodies as soon as you can. Although adamant plate bodies, we bought uh, 30 of them, we'll just bury the 30 of them and then we'll do the other 10, then we'll move on to Brunite. What if we go heat that if it goes low like that? We probably could. So let's uh, start the timer here pretty soon then. So we could say now we're level 44. We just got to 44 when smithing this one. So we go here, smithing interface, we could uh, hit this base bar to queue them all up. So might as well just hit the space where I queue up all of the plate bodies, that'll be 17,000 smithing experience. So we're just basically burning money, right? Reversing, how much is that like? They're only like 20k each, so each set of 10 is only 200k. So that's pretty cheap, right? 200k, you get to bury 10 plate bodies compared to 8 experience. You're getting 8 experience if you're just making things. Maybe you are making gold, but this experience is so much faster. So let's just uh, make all of these plate bodies here, and then we'll come back uh, after the 10 are made, see how much levels we have. Should be able to get two levels, maybe? Two more levels, I mean. So we're gonna see, we'll be back. All right, so we should be finishing this, and that a 55 experience, that's what the potion does. Usually it would do like 27, gives you a chance to do double progress so it could be 55 experience and the progress bar goes faster so you can smith them faster it's essentially the timer says like 13 minutes and uh that guy if he pops up and tries to tell you to make a ceremonial steel sword don't bother making the ceremonial steel sword so basically we got uh two and a half levels so and we got a whole bunch of eggs here so let's just take out 10 more. Let's say if it takes, what, like 12 minutes? Maybe 12 minutes to bury these? And then you get all that experience, all those levels? That's so much better. So compared to the other thing, right? If you were just making, if you were just making things for eight experience, if you were just doing eight experience items, this is a 3.5 times faster if it's 28 experience. So essentially, if you were there for like one hour, you'd have to be doing regular smithing for 3.5 hours. So if this takes like two hours to get to level 60, it would take you like seven hours to get to level 60. That's the difference. So essentially you just spend 200K. If you just like buy, buy arrow shafts, buy, buy like 10,000 arrow shafts, buy 10,000 feathers, fletch the arrow shafts, you should make like 200K, buy 10 adamant plate bodies, bury them, that'll give you all of the experience quickly. And then you could just burn straight two runite items, maybe. <clears throat> and then just start burning runite plate bodies, right? They cost a little bit more, but if you're if you're just buying like three rune plate bodies for 7, 14, 21, 210k, three rune plate bodies would be the same as what 15 adamant plate bodies? Something like that. And when we finally get to the rune plate bodies, they should be giving 56 experience. Would, would, would be twice as much as this, which would mean it'd be seven times as fast. So if you spent one hour making rune plate bodies and burying them, it'd be essentially like seven hours of making rune arrowheads. If you did two hours of burying plate bodies, you'd be like 14 hours of making rune arrowheads. 14 hours you could spend doing other things so it sounds like a much better trade-off just 
200k per trip, all the levels. Seven times faster with Runite, 3.5 times faster with Adamant. I think uh, we're on to something this time. So much quicker. So we should be level uh, 50 in no time here. We'll cut back when we're basically done this set of 10. Should take uh, 12 minutes of smithing, minus the interruptions of the Easter guys and the guy popping up telling us to smith a steel sword that probably isn't worth smithing right now. Already here, we almost missed it. We uh, stepped out of the room, but if we smith this thing, we buried all of them. Now we're level 48, almost level 49 smithing. So if we just go bury 10 more plate bodies, so we can't tell you how much faster this is. So if you go here, if you go snow furnace, do we have any adamant bars? We know we had ores to make them, right? 27 adamant bars. If you were here smithing, smithing on the anvil, making I don't know, something like adamant arrowheads. Maybe you do make money, right? Maybe 4K? The profit is down so much on this, but you're making a six experience, seven experience. So it's even more, more so it's like four times as fast? Almost five times as fast. So you'd be sitting here getting six experience, seven experience. You'd be making all the adamant arrowheads to be there for so long making those or you could just uh, pretty much bury these things right adamant arrowheads can only be smithed or reheated here so essentially there's no reason to do normal smithing if you can do it we didn't do normal smithing for this playthrough just because it's so straight through right if you're an iron man just go mine the things then you just go smith the items probably smith arrowheads so that you can level your fletching with them and then sell them to the vendor because that would get you some actual decent money yeah, actually for Iron Man, if you fletch adamant arrowheads, fletch adamant arrows, sell them to the vendor, that's decent money. And then when you can finally sell rune arrows, that's even better money for an Iron Man. <clears throat> and it's really good fletching experience too. So let's go to the bank. So this is uh, way, way faster than it thought it'd be. Take all the adamant play bodies, the other 10, and we'll bury these ones. We'll see how they do. We gotta queue them up. Uh, we're making adamant plate bodies again, <clears throat> so it is so much quicker. Can't wait to get to the rune plate bodies. That'd be pretty soon. That's just another 12 minutes. And does it uh, speed up? Did it speed up? Smith? Smith at 10% faster? Smith 10% faster. So once we get to level 49, we'll be smithing adamant 10% faster. So if it took uh, 12 minutes to smith 10 of them, it'll take 10 minutes to smith. Is that right? Almost that. 11, 11 minutes? Maybe I'll save like a minute, 20 seconds. Oh, another thing, we did more calculations, right? 85,000 per hour. So if each of them is like 1.7K, right? Then you times that by 10 plate bodies. That equals 17K, 17K per inventory. So let's just uh, put this here so it doesn't have that annoying noise. And then if it takes you like 12 minutes, you could do five inventories an hour. So you could say times five, 85,000 experience an hour. So it's probably more like a 20 to 30K doing it. 15K maybe, oh, 20K? Around like 20 to 25K making it the other way. So it's so much quicker this way. Imagine a rune plate bodies would be so much quicker too. Cause just making the uh, rune base items or rune arrowheads is like 8 experience, not even too much more. So let's just uh, queue up all these, 85,000 experience an hour sounds pretty good. We could spend our time doing other things than just earning 6 and 7 experience for making other things. And then even uh, basing them up, right? The plus 1 items, they're like uh, 8 to 9 experience maybe, 9 to 10. And then making the plus... Uh, Plus two items, it's only, what, like 13 experience? Maybe 13? Maybe half as much as this. Half as much as experience as this, probably. So, burying items, definitely the way to go. If you, if you can do it, you just go get 200k, bury 10, come back later. We'll be over level 50 smithing. We're just about to get level 49 smithing. Let's record level 49 smithing, right? Here's level 49 smithing. There we go. Now we can, uh, oh, we can smith Adam at 10% faster. Look how much faster he's going. He's going 10% faster now. He's just going like a madman smithing at that adamant. Holy jeez, he's just hammering it. 
Alright, so we're just about to get to level 50 smithing. So that is actually pretty amazing, right? Level 50 smithing in like 30 minutes? From level 44, so it's 6 smithing levels in 40 minutes. That would have taken you 860 minutes. 3 to 4 hours? 3 to 4, probably, I don't know, is it that long? <laughs> Two to three hours, probably. Two to two and a half hours, at least two hours. I've taken you two and a half hours to do this much progress that we did in 30 minutes. All we did was spend 600k. You spend 600k and then you just get to all of this progress in like 30 minutes. It probably, probably does bring you all the way to level 50. If you look at the smithing guide, it says get to level 40, smith a uh, berry, 30 adamant plate bodies, I think. And we don't know how many room plate bodies. Is it 30 as well? Maybe it's 30 okram? We don't know. We haven't really done burying them because we think it's a waste of money, right? You buy the items and then you just bury the items and then you lose all the money. Although when you actually start burying items, you realize all the benefits. So I think we're just about done that item, but we can see rune smithing at level 50. You could make rune burial and level 51 you could smith the rune 10% faster so we have buried all 30 of the adamant plate bodies. So that's really good actually if you could do it at 10% faster at 51. Because so later you don't get the extra bar chance till 57 anyways create items at maximum heat till 59. So it's a lot different than adamant. Adamant was essentially in reverse. So if we take these rune plate bodies we could try to bury these see what this is like. So we just go room bar, room plate body, bury 4.8 thousand experience. 35 each. Oh, they have to heat them. It doesn't uh, start heated. All right. And we heat them a lot slower than adamant because we just started it. So let's just sit here. Let's time like uh, one armor. We'll see how long it takes to make one armor. And then we'll come back with our information. So if we just uh, fully, oh, don't start making it. Fully heat the item. And we just put the timer real quick and we'll see how long does it take to make one and then we can just uh, times it by 10 essentially. So we'll just start now because we did have a little two hits or something. So let's see, 53 experience compared to 28 experience. So it is basically twice as fast, right? If Adamant was like 85,000 per hour, then Runite would be 170,000 per hour, something like that absolutely insane as soon as you get to level 50 go to start burying rune plate bodies very rune plate bodies you have to it'll take a while you have to heat them you don't have the maximum heat yet although getting 170,000 experience per hour just for spending however much it was 10 of these would cost like 700k 750k 750k to buy 10 of them Alright, so maybe it takes like a minute and 45 seconds, a minute and 45 seconds to gain 4.8k experience. That's insane. So we do have to heat them, we're not good at doing run it. And this is uh, when we can't smith it faster, this is when it starts at low heat. So we're not even very efficient at it. So that's amazing. So what is that? It's like what, 145 times 10 or something. But you can't do that. Let's just go two times. And it'd be like what 20 minutes and then you minus not sure maybe 15 minutes maybe 15 minutes and then what's 10 48k in 15 minutes or something we'll figure it out even if it is 20 minutes that's still absolutely insane because so we're gonna get 50,000 more we're level 51 smithing we'll just see what we end up after we bury all of these play bodies should take should take less than 20 minutes all right, we're back. So we're basically in this episode then. We're smithing this last uh, rune plate body. It's gonna bring us to level 54 smithing. So this would have literally taken like a one hour, a little bit under one hour. One hour to gain 10 smithing levels. Considering smithing the other things would have taken probably like five hours, probably like five to six hours, something around that. That's what it averaged to. So essentially you could sit there for five and six hours and make little items or you could sit there for a little bit less if you're facing up items I guess. It'd be a little bit faster but you wouldn't be making too much gold anyways right? 
I mean, if you were there for like five hours, maybe you'd make uh, 500k or maybe 1 million per hour. And then maybe you'd have 5 million. But during that uh, f other five hours, we could be doing other things. I'm sure, you could do a lot of other things in five hours. And then the other skills, if you were leveling them, if you're just gaining money from doing them anyways, maybe her blur will be profitable at some point. Maybe rune crafting will be profitable. Maybe slayer, maybe combat. Essentially, I guess it's not worth it to make money with smithing. Not at this point anyways. Once you get to 60 smithing, maybe it is. Usually, 60 smithing is where the money's at. That's where it's usually been at. <coughs> so we'll end this. This has been the smithing episode. Well, I guess Runa is pretty good. Adamant's really good for money too, if you make uh, certain adamant items. I guess uh, maybe the older levels are good. You just have to find certain items that actually make money. So he has bond. So it's uh, like these things. We got two jeweled eggs. We really should check this Easter event soon. It ends in uh, five days, maybe four days, five days. So we gotta hurry up here. <clears throat> and the act track, the act track ends in 20 days. So we finished decorating that. That is what uh, happens in one hour. And if you were here to do another 20 rune plate bodies, that would take, what, 40 minutes? 40 minutes to get to level 60? That sounds pretty good. 40 minutes at the... So it's not actually 170k, it's probably more like 150k because... Or maybe it is like 170k per hour. Essentially burying items. Amazing.